Hey guys, what's up? You know, I haven't filmed a video in a long time and so much has gone down. I'm going to be posting videos once a week. I know I kept saying I'm going to post videos whenever I want, but I found that the times that I have wanted to make a video has been once a week and that's all I have time for. So I was thinking that maybe once a week would be like every Saturday, every Sunday, like it would have to be on the weekends because I've been really busy. A few days ago, part of the song Perfect got released and now the whole song is out. And all I'm gonna say is the lyrics are hilarious fuck. Now a lot of people are saying that this is more of like a, pl a, pl bleh, a platonic song. It's not about Louie and Harry, like it's about them talking about some girl and that they're only going to be friends with them because Louie and Harry are like gay or whatever, so it would only be friendship. But if you listen to like other lyrics like you know, like the hotel room and the rendezvous type of thing, like, you know, all that, like, I kind of feel like it has a little more meaning to it. So I, I think that the lyrics are hilarious fucking, plus Louie and Harry wrote the song and they admitted it in an, in an interview. So I don't know. I think as Harry said in the interview, there's many meanings depending on who you are, like anyone can say that it means something else. He said he leaves it up to interpretation. It can be... It can mean this, or it can mean this. They performed Perfect the same day they released it, and the whole crowd was singing it back to them. That's how powerful this is. Like, it's so weird. Like, they just released the song Perfect, and then they perform it on the same fucking day, and then everyone is singing it back, and it's like, what the fuck? It's happened before, it would drag me down. Harry, in that recent interview, said the same thing he said in French in that 2011 video. Like, it was like, um, Je suis allé au cinéma avec mes copains et ma famille. Like, I take French, I've taken it for six years, and I still stumbled on that statement, but he said that's the only thing he knows how to say, but he said that in the 2011 interview, and then he said that in 2015, and then Louis was like fawning at him again, that same fucking smile as he did in the 2011 interview, feels. In that same interview, Louis and Harry were actually sitting next to each other, so we got another next to you moment, and they were like fawning at each other, smiling at each other, like there were some gifts of Louis and Harry like looking at each other, like, like deep into each other's eyes like and not even that it's just the fact that they were next to each other like they were like in the middle of Niall and Liam it was beautiful also in the interview Louis said me and Harry wrote on it when referring to the song perfect and that almost that like reminded me of when in 2011 when Louis said me and Harry lived together in that Alan Carr interview it just kind of sounded the same like yeah me and Harry lived together and then oh yeah me and Harry wrote on it like it's, it's kind of funny that they, they're saying the same things from like 2011 and now in 2015 and it just feels. Also in the interview, Louis looked really happy when talking about him and Harry writing on the album or on the song Perfect, but when it came to questions about the baby rumors and Zane, he actually looked pretty sad or pissed off. So it just kind of proved that talking about Harry makes him really happy and then talking about like Zane and the baby rumors just makes him really pissed off. So you can really tell in Louis's facial yeah, facial features how he feels. And he feels happy talking about Harry. Louis also tweeted a short audio clip of the song Perfect and it was of Harry's solo and people were freaking out about that because people were saying that this is big. Like it was like a message. Like Louis hasn't hasn't tweeted Harry in so long and Louis hasn't tweeted anything about Harry in so long. Vice versa. Like Harry hasn't tweeted anything about Louis. So the fact that Louis tweeted a short little audio clip with Harry's vocals, like not Liam's, not Niles, but Harry's vocals of Perfect, it was like five seconds or something, that just really means a lot. Like, he could have tweeted any other part of Perfect. I don't know, maybe it was coincidence, like it just had to be Harry's voice, but I just think that that's cool that Louis tweeted like five seconds of Harry's solo on his own Twitter account. That wasn't Modest, that was him. Goodbye Modest was also trending on Twitter along with other hashtags that had to do with the song Perfect, so that was cool. Also, there was a gif of a guy coming in between Louis and Harry, like when they were taking a group picture, and it was really funny. I don't have the gif right now, but like, um, Louis and Harry were in the middle again, so they were standing next to each other. Like, they've been standing next to each other a lot, but they were standing next to each other, and Harry had his arm around Louis already, like he was already touching his back, and then this guy comes in between them to take a picture with them, and he goes right in between Louis and Harry, like what a fucking cock blocker. He decides to go right in between them, and Harry's face, while looking at the guy, he looked pissed pissed off. Harry was like, get the fuck, like, what the fuck, you know? So he goes in between Louie and Harry, and then Harry continues to still try to, like, touch Louie's back while that guy is in between him. So it's like he still tried to get a hold of Louie and, like, touch him any way he could. And I just 
found that really cute. It was like one of those um, subtle moments. People were freaking out about Irving Azoff's tweet on how, um, what did he tweet? He said that 1D are still in the hands of Modest, meaning that they're still with Modest, Modest still controls them and all of that. And I thought that One Direction were like not with Modest anymore, or I thought they were going to be leaving them soon. But what I think is happening is One Direction already confirmed this, that they're going on a year-long break starting March 2016. Louis promised that they will be back. He made a pledge to it. I think when they go on that break, that's the leave of Modest. I think when they come back from that year-long break, they won't be with Modest anymore. And I think we'll probably get more Larry interaction, like even more than we're getting now. I, I just think everything is going to change after a year. So if people are complaining that One Direction are going on a year break, don't complain because what if everything is so much better after a year? Like what if everything is back to how it used to be like in 2011? So I'm actually excited. And plus, they're just gonna look healthy after a year. Also, apparently Harry broke his foot. I don't know what part of his foot, but he said that in an interview, like he broke, like it's like a big word, but he broke a part of his foot. I think it's because Harry falls all the time on stage. So this is actually really not a surprise to me because Harry is so clumsy. I was actually thinking to myself, how has Harry not broken something already? I mean, come on. So apparently something's wrong with his foot. I don't think he has a cast or anything, but poor baby. I just hope he gets better. I don't know. I don't think this is rumored because I think Harry actually said it. But again, I'm not surprised. He falls all the time. And lastly, I'd like to touch upon that there was a thing on a door handle like in One Direction's dressing room, like Louis and Harry's or something. Um, and it said, do not disturb over the bedroom door handle. And then there was a rainbow bondage bear like right next to it. And people were saying that like that was Louis and Harry's room with a do not disturb sign over the door handle. And usually that means people are having sex or something in their room. I don't know much about that, but there was a picture of it. Um, and it was really suspicious. So people were saying that maybe Harry and Louis were having sex in their room. I don't know, but that's what I saw. And that happened like a week ago or something. I think I covered a lot. I think I covered most of what's been happening for the past week or two. If I missed anything, please leave it down below. If you want to add anything, leave it down below. And like always, like and subscribe because I'm going to be posting once a week or as much as I can. Okay, bye guys.